The 54-inch City View is a modern chandelier-style ceiling fan with an integrated LED ring light. The fan is rated for indoor use and is remote control operated. The 54-inch blade span is best suited for large rooms that are 18 feet by 18 feet or smaller. The fan can be installed on regular ceilings and ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees. The fan can also be flush mounted for low ceilings. Use the menu to skip ahead or continue watching for the complete installation guide. To install the fan, you will need a UL listed outlet box that is 4 fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a step ladder, screwdriver, wire stripper, and electrical tape. Continue watching for the standard mounting instructions or skip ahead to the flush mount installation section. Begin by turning power off at the breaker. On the canopy assembly, twist and remove the canopy ring. Remove the non-slotted canopy mounting screws. Loosen the remaining slotted screws. Twist and remove the mounting bracket. On the fan motor assembly, remove the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the downrod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. Feed the motor's wires through the downrod and insert it into the motor's collar. Align the holes and insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. If you are using an extended length downrod, an optional wire extender is included. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy onto the downrod. Reinstall the hanger ball, being sure to insert the cross pin, attach the ground lead, and tighten the set screw against the side of the downrod. At the ceiling box, loosen the two screws. Align and slide the mounting bracket over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and seat the hanger ball in the mounting bracket. Turn the fan to align the groove in the ball with the tab on the bracket. To avoid interference from other fans or devices, you can set the frequency code in the remote and the receiver. On the receiver, locate the dip switches and create a new and unique code. Access the battery compartment of the remote and duplicate the code. The dip switch codes must match or the fan will not function. Bring the receiver up to the ceiling box. Slide the receiver into the mounting bracket with the flat side facing up. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box, down rod, and mounting bracket together with a wire nut. Combine the white wire from the receiver with the neutral wire from the outlet box. Combine the black wire from the receiver with the hot wire from the outlet box. Connect the three pin wire connector from the receiver with the connector from the motor. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Carefully tuck the connections up towards the outlet box. Lift the canopy over the canopy mounting bracket screws and twist to hold in place. Insert the removed screws and tighten all screws securely. Slide the canopy ring over the screws and twist to lock into place. The standard ceiling mounting is complete and you can now skip ahead to the fan blade installation section or continue watching for the alternate flush mount installation instructions. Ensure power is turned off at the breaker. On the canopy assembly, twist and remove the canopy ring. Remove the non-slotted canopy mounting screws. 
Loosen the remaining slotted screws. Twist and remove the mounting bracket. Unclip the bottom canopy cover. On the fan motor assembly, remove three of the collar screws to make a triangle pattern. Place the canopy ring over the collar. Align the holes on the canopy with the holes on the collar, then insert and tighten the three removed screws. At the ceiling box, loosen the two screws. Align and slide the mounting bracket over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and use one of the holes on the canopy to hang it from the hook on the mounting bracket. To avoid interference from other fans or devices, you can set the frequency code in the remote and the receiver. On the receiver, locate the dip switches and create a new and unique code. Access the battery compartment of the remote and duplicate the code. The dip switch codes must match or the fan will not function. Bring the receiver up to the ceiling box. Slide the receiver into the mounting bracket with the flat side facing up. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box and mounting bracket together with a wire nut. Combine the white wire from the receiver with the neutral wire from the outlet box. Combine the black wire from the receiver with the hot wire from the outlet box. Connect the 3-pin wire connector from the receiver with the connector from the motor. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Carefully tuck the connections up towards the outlet box. Unhook the fan and lift the canopy over the canopy mounting bracket screws. Twist to hold in place. Insert the removed screws and tighten all screws securely. Slide the canopy ring over the screws and twist to lock into place. The flush mounting is complete and the fan blades are now ready to install. Bring a fan blade up to the fan and insert it into one of the slots on the motor. Align a blade support plate over the holes on the blade and motor. Insert three blade attachment screws halfway, then tighten all screws securely. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. On the motor's mounting ring, remove one of the light kit mounting plate screws. Loosen the remaining screws. Bring the mounting plate up to the fan and pass the two pin wire connector through the square opening. Align and twist over the loose screws. Insert the removed screw and tighten all screws securely. Unscrew and remove the decorative nut. Then remove the nut above. Carefully remove the remaining washers. Bring the LED light kit up to the fan and connect the two pin wire connectors. Slide the light kit over the light kit stem. Place the washers over the shaft. Tighten the nut to hold the LED light kit in place. Reattach the decorative nut underneath. Safely restore power at the breaker. The installation is complete and the fan is now ready to operate. On the remote, install the included batteries to begin using the fan. Press the power button to toggle the fan and light on or off. Press the fan speed button to cycle through the different fan speeds. The fan can be set to high speed, medium speed, low speed, and off. Press the light button to turn the light on or off. 
Hold the button to cycle through the different brightness settings. Press the Comfort Breeze button to enable Comfort Breeze mode, a feature that simulates a relaxing breeze by randomly alternating between different fan speeds. Press the Timer button to cycle through the timer function. You can set a 2 hour delay, 4 hour delay, or 8 hour delay. With the fan turned off, use the reverse switch to change the direction of the blade rotation. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise to push air downward and produce a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise to cycle warm air off the ceiling. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. For technical support and other assistance, call the customer service number in your owner's manual. Thank you for watching.